<laughs> so, this is a uh, misadventure. Well, our misadventure is a boy hunter. Totally yeah. hunting. That's yes. It. And this is Bobby Green. Like the best artist the ever, best you guys. Ever. Love. So, he did this for us. <laughs> Atila from uh, Motu, and then he also did a, a Slave Leia for us. And then, oh, of course, gorgeous. all this in the back. So, what comics have you uh, oh, worked for? What com companies have you worked for? Uh, uh, Marvel, IDW, Action Lab, Zenoscope, and a lot of independent companies. I mean, it would be, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> many to name off. And movie studios, uh, production the companies. Yeah, I've been doing around. this for 27 years. Uh, wow. Did you go to school or is it just... No, well, I, I didn't go to school for the uh, traditional art. That was, okay. uh, luckily, I was able to do that. Uh, I was born with that talent. But I did go to school for computer animation. Oh, nice. nice. I did, yeah, yeah. Got my bachelor's in computer animation for more of the, the studio, the big studio. Okay. Hmm. So, out of all the companies you've worked for, which one's the favorite one you like? Ask me that. Because of the characters. Yeah, I say, you could have the top three. Yeah. No, because of the I characters. Mean, I mean... Which one gives you the most creative for character -wise? The most creative freedom? Yeah. Oh, most... Uh, Zenoscope gives a lot of creative freedom. They trust in the artist, uh, and they basically, you know, here's the concept, here's what we need, go to town. Okay. So I would say Zenoscope, and they've got great characters. Yeah. A lot of cool cheesecake female characters badass, you know, and, and, and sexy at the same time. So I would say they probably give us the most freedom. It's pretty much part launch. You do, they trust us. Yeah, that, that's what she likes. She loves reading things. Yep, yep, because yep. of the yep. artwork, too. It is. It's, it's crazy cool work inside. I mean, yeah, it's, it's amazing. So yeah. what, what are you going to be working on soon? What's your next project? Yeah, what's going to be the next project you're going to be doing? So, uh, okay. I guess a I little announce, bit that you I, can I say. I NDA stuff I cannot talk about, but yeah. I guess yeah. I can announce uh, we're bringing back an old school 90s character from Image. Ooh. Uh, and I will oh, be working I with, uh, well, I'll be working with Rod Michaels, who is the okay. creator. Uh, we'll be doing penciling, co-penciling, and then Adelso Corona and Sal Regla. Uh, we'll be doing the inks on it. So that'll be coming out in 2023. Nice. Yes, and literally, if you were here 10 minutes ago, Marat was here and we were kind of finalizing it. So oh, that'll be wow. out. So we're happy about that. Yeah, so we've got that coming up. And then a uh, Red Sonia, Vampirella, Nadia Nice team up that will also oh, be nice. coming Ooh. out very soon. So that's some good things. I've got uh, some, some fun stuff. Yeah. Some other very things I can't cool. talk about, but I will. <laughs> yeah. So, what comics did you actually read when you were younger, or did you even oh, read comics? I did. I did. I started collecting uh, in the early '80s, '82, '83. Uh, Alpha Flight. Alpha Flight oh. by far was one of my favorite comics. Micronauts, X Men, uh, Batman, Detective Comics. Yeah. That's so, who was actually cool. doing that? Was Batman back then? Was that? Uh, uh, there was a Paro. There was. Uh, it was an after Adams. It was. This is in the early yeah. '80s. Uh, Ray Fogel kind of came on, but that was later. Um, God, who was doing it? I can't remember who was doing it in the early yeah, 80s. I just, yeah. It was just a fun the only name Mandrake, I, I think Mandrake did some issues. The only name that's coming up is uh, Dixon. The only one I've done. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Was, I think Batman seemed to have a lot of different artists at yeah. that time. Um, but yeah, it was just fun reads. Yeah. yeah. That was back when he was a detective. <laughs> it was the pre-Dark Age, but, yeah. uh, but in 86 when all that went down, yeah, 86 was the best year for comics in my opinion. So, was did you ever get to meet Neil Adams? Uh, yeah, a couple times. Yeah. He was very, uh, he was very nice. I, I, yeah, yeah, I, I he, had a really good time. I got to meet him also. That was the best before. Yeah. Uh, I think we met him at what, WonderCon? Yeah, the very yeah. first time. Yeah, he was really cool. He was very, um, you know, he, he was always down to talk Yeah, oh yeah. With, you know, uh, and she asked me if I actually knew him. Like, yeah, no, no. I'm yeah, like, no. Like they knew I had some really good conversations <laughs> with him and, and Marilyn, and, and everything was cool. So, yeah, yeah. I enjoyed that. Now, do you do, uh, other than Zenscope, do you do some horror stuff too? For Anything them? that comes along. If it's horror based, I will do it. I did a, a one shot uh, called Flesh Nest, and it, it kind of is so cool because it read like an episode. <clears throat> it was so cool. It was like a quick one shot. It read like an episode of Tales from the Crypt. Oh yeah, the nice. Crypt show. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was awesome. But it was something that 
I made the time to do it because it was horror based. Yeah. I love the macabre. I love the dark. And oh man, I jumped on it in a second. It yeah, he fantastic. did a really good job on the uh, Hell Priestess. For yeah, us. Hell Priestess. Did yeah. you actually get to see the new Hellraiser? I have not. Have. Unfortunately, I haven't yet. <laughs> yes, it's one of those shows. See, the unfortunate thing about what I do is my head is down most of the yeah. time. I'm, I'm working. So yeah. I have to like listen to movies <clears throat> yeah. and listen to shows. Uh, and that's something I gotta watch. I have, dude, Hellraiser, I have to watch. Oh, they got the Hell Priestess. This time, <laughs> I know. So that's I, was I'm like, I was like, dude, look, it looks exactly See, like the picture. It. I know. Yeah. I just, you kind of called it early, but yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was fun. Um, so, do you have any questions for him? No, but knowing that he's a huge horror fan to do stuff, I think the next time you have a show out here, uh -huh. I think I might have an idea with something. Well, I just noticed yeah. you have the $25 exclusive. Now, that are these or is that the uh, Oh, those sketches? these. Yeah, we do. Um, You're doing these? basically things? sketch them out at the table and, and it's whatever people want. Sign number. So there you go. Fun. I like yeah, it. no, I think the I think the next time we're gonna have to commission a big one. <laughs> oh, she wants a painted one. She actually oh, wanted. A I do. One. I love it. I love to paint. I do. I I'm torn between Universal Monsters, something with the Adams Family, and probably like the the newer horror, like the Jason Freddy. Yeah, the 80s slasher. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, like a like. A, a mashup, mash sort of like uh, yeah, multiple. Oh no, that would be. I do not get yeah. a lot of Adams families. I've had a couple monsters. Um, you know, are clearly the the classics. Yeah, but I don't do Adams family that often. That would be fun. Ooh. That would be a lot of fun to kind of combine them all in there. Yeah, and I wouldn't care what the background would look like. It's just creative liberty. We will talk. Yeah. Yes. Now I'm, and I'm in trouble. Like, oh, that's exciting for me. I mean, we have yes. your number. I know. So. You have my number. So just, just reach out. Yeah. yeah. No, that's yeah. great. Yeah, because I was even yeah. thinking of uh, Sam from Trick or Treat. Oh, I've done a couple of Sams. Yeah. With and without. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say Ooh. without. Yeah, yeah. yeah the wa without's really, really hard. For How's it going? Good. Oh. Hey, yeah. Let me know if you have questions on anything. We're just having a nice, fun time. <laughs> <laughs> Quick interview. Yeah, we were actually excited to come here just to come back and talk to <laughs> you. Yeah. Because actually, I didn't get home from work until <laughs> two this two morning. This morning, well, you're a trooper. Okay. I'm just like, yeah, all right, I gotta go. I sleep I for a little bit and then get yeah. up. Yeah, like, I gotta go and go meet up with him. Yeah, so. awesome. Well, thank you. Seriously, thank you. Guys. Yeah. Hanging out. Well, now that we know you're gonna be limited on cons, it's gonna be harder to kind of. Yeah. Limited. Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff, but um, the, the trade-off is I don't get as much of this. Yeah. And, and this yeah. is kind of what. Um, what I appreciate about the cons yeah. is having a chance to see people and face to face in that social time. Yeah. So, you know, it's a little bit of a trade off, but each one's going to be yeah. more special now. Yeah. So, what's going to be the next con that you're actually going to be able to go to? Uh, my next show is in Canada. I'm doing a Vancouver Fan Expo, Vancouver oh. in February, and then uh, in Abu Dhabi, and Whoa. then um, then I'm back in the States for. Uh, WonderCon? I think WonderCon. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah WonderCon. We'll okay. yeah, Wonder yeah, yeah. So you see me at WonderCon. Right. That's my next U.S. show, which will be Southern California. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So I will get a hold of you about the Adams Family. We'll talk. Okay. Yeah, yeah for a WonderCon. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a great time. Yeah. I'd yeah. Pick each other's brains. Like, yeah, that's gonna look yes. Good. So we're gonna go ahead and close this up. So oh, okay. Back to the okay. business. Yep. Is there anything you want to go in? Uh, oh no! Uh, yeah, follow me on uh, Instagram at art of art underscore of underscore breed. And then yeah, right. I'll be doing Twitch uh, when I have a chance to okay. do things that are not NDA. And uh, right. yeah, thank you everybody. All right, All thank right. you, and thank you for the prints. <laughs>